Imagine this, you need to create something visually stunning. It can be a social media ad, can be a website design, or can be a simple post. And then you have two tools to choose from. On the one side you have Figma and on the other side you have Canva. One is super beginner friendly, hacked with thousands of templates and ready to go designs that you can use in minutes. The other one is an advanced powerhouse built for designers that lets you control every single pixel on your canvas. Which one of those is better and even more importantly, which one is right for you? Let's break it down in this video category by category. Let's start off first with ease of use. Who wins the simplicity battle? Not everyone wants to be a graphic design wizard. Some of us just need to create something that looks good without watching hours and hours of tutorials or using complex tools. This is where Canva dominates. You log in and boom, there are templates everywhere. There's no blank canvas that intimidates you, but instead, you have all these pre-built things that you can start with right away. You drag, drop, and tweak the design and suddenly you have something that looks visually stunning without you knowing anything about design. It's like playing with digital stickers and somehow in the end everything aligns in a perfect way. Canva is built for speed and simplicity. Need a social media post, a resume, or a full presentation done in minutes. It's the perfect tool for marketers and business owners that want cool looking designs without any sort of headache. Now, let's talk about Figma. Unlike Canva, Figma isn't built for beginners. It's a pro tool. There are no easy templates to work. You can literally customize everything. You are starting on a blank canvas and in the end, you have full flexibility about your designs. It's vector-based, meaning that you can literally adjust everything from typography to elements to spacing to make everything aligned pixel perfect in the end. This is absolute creative freedom, but as you can imagine, this comes with a cost. There's a steep learning curve that you need to take. Figma is perfect, powerful, and flexible for all designers out there. But if you are getting started with design, it might be a little bit overwhelming. So my final verdict, Canva wins for marketers, small business owners that just want a good looking design quickly. And Figma wins for everyone else. So experts in UI, but also in design that need the full flexibility and control about what's happening in their canvas. So let's take a look at the second category, collaboration. Which of the tools actually wins when it comes to collaboration and working in a team? Whether you are crafting a brand, a pitch deck, some marketing assets, most of the time at some point you will need feedback from your team or you need to collaborate on creating the asset in the first place. So the question is, which of the tools makes collaboration easier? Canva keeps things simple and efficient. You can share the designs with your team, allow them to edit, they can leave comments, and you can even schedule the post directly within the platform. It's perfect for social media teams, marketers, and entrepreneurs that work together with freelancers. And in terms of brand kit control, you can lock your assets, meaning that fonts, colors, and even logos are static, locked, so no one can actually change it and that makes it way, way easier to collaborate because let's be honest, most of the time someone screws up. Canva is great for quick teamwork. Imagine if someone just quickly needs to jump in, make an edit and then save the stuff. It's very, very user friendly and doesn't require any technical knowledge. And that makes it ideal for teams that aren't design heavy. On the other side, Figma takes collaboration to a whole nother level. Think of Google Docs, but for design. Main feature here is live editing. So you can work on the same file with multiple people at a time. You see the other people's cursors flying around and you can actually do edits without waiting for the other person to exit the file. There's also an automatic saving. So you will never hear again that someone says, oops, I forgot to save the file everything is saved automatically. There's also an awesome commenting feature. Designers, developers, marketers can all collaborate. Inside the Figma tool, you can leave comments, see them, resolve them. That makes collaboration very easy. And then there is prototyping and developer handoff. So Figma is specifically also built for user interfaces and you can move your designs over to a specific development stage that has all the features that the developers need to turn
turn your ideas into life. So in terms of collaboration, Canva works if there are some simple collaboration needed. For example, for marketing edits, sharing with different team members, commenting, and then publishing it live. Figma is more the advanced version of it. Think of web design, UI elements, where a lot of people are involved that need to work in parallel and want to get the most out of the tool. This is when Figma comes into play. Let's take a look at the next category, features and customization. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. Both tools are awesome and serve their purpose, but they are very different when it comes to the complexity and the features that you have inside. So let's start off first with Canva, or as I call it, the template kingdom. Canva is built for speed and ease. If you need a professional looking design in a couple of minutes, Canva is your best friend. It comes with millions of pre-made templates, icons and elements. And the drag and drop system makes it ridiculously easy to use. There are no design skills required. You can quickly create social media posts, presentation, flyers, everything that you can imagine. Sometimes even videos. But here's the catch. Customization is limited. Want to tweak down the spacing in a box down to a pixel? Nah, no, you can't do it. Need to build a complete custom layout from scratch? Also, you can't do it. Canva on purpose has some constraint that limits your creative freedom. And this is on purpose because it makes the software super beginner friend but if you sometimes need a little bit more canva is not the right choice for you it's fast efficient and user friendly but if you need absolute precision canva will eventually feel like painting a masterpiece with a crayon figma on the other side is a canvas with unlimited possibilities there are no templates you are literally creating everything from scratch it's a fully customizable design tool with vector editing unlimited layers and precision control you can build wireframes, high fidelity mockups, and even full user interfaces, including interactive prototypes. It supports plugins, custom fonts, and you can even create design systems and components that you can reuse across your design. This is especially helpful if you are creating user interfaces. If Canva is a toy store full of designs, Figma is a workshop where you can literally build everything that you can imagine. But here's the trade-off. Figma has a learning curve. If you just need a quick design, Figma might be overkill for you. If you need total creative freedom, or if you are a professional, Figma is unmatched. Okay, next category, let's talk about pricing. So what do you actually get? Both Canva and Figma offer free plans. But what you get for free and what you have to pay for can make a huge difference in your decision. So Canva's free plan, let's take a look at it. You get access to thousands of templates, fonts and stock images. You get basic design tools, including drag and drop editing. You get free collaboration with your team member and you get limited export options. So no transparent PNGs or SVG files, for example. You get no background remover or advanced effects. So as you can imagine, Figma's free tool is perfect for beginners small businesses and casual users who just need simple quick designs. On the opposite, we have Canva Pro. It comes at $12.99 per month. And the question is, is it really worth it? With Canva Pro, what you can unlock is premium templates, stock images, and animations. You get magic resets, so you can instantly adjust designs for different platforms if you want. You can also get the background remover, so imagine a picture of me, you want to remove the background, you can do that with the tool. And you can also create a brand kit. So if you have your own startup, for example, you can put the brand kit in there, and this is only what you can do on Canva Pro. So Canva Pro is worth it if you want to have access to more templates, if you are serious about your business, and if you still want to use these like easy features without all the design skills that are needed for Figma. Let's take a look at Figma's free plan. First of all, you get full access to the core design features and the real-time collaboration. Yes, you can work with multiple people at a time. Also, you get enough cloud storage for all of your projects. One thing that you won't get on the free plan is a version history. So for example, what did the file look like three days ago? Crazy thing is, all of these features are already super pro level. So basically you can do the same thing that you would also do with the paid version in the free version. There's no limit in terms of functionality. But for Figma Pro that comes at $12 per month, I guess, you get a couple of things on top. First of all, you get more storage. You can use more files, you get advanced prototyping, you get things like the version history, and you get also all the tools for your developer handoff. 
So if you're working in larger teams, it makes sense to use the pro version because then you can collaborate even better. In summary, Canvas free plan is for starters. Figma's free plan is for designers and people that are a little bit more serious about the stuff that they are doing. So let's take a look at the final verdict after we have seen all these categories. Which tool wins? Use Canva if you just want designs quickly without any hassle, if you are a marketer, entrepreneur, social media manager. And also if you love templates and you don't need the full control. But if you want all the full control and you are a little bit more serious about your business, then Figma is the right choice. And we are also using it at Magia every single day. So. You get advanced customization, you can work with multiple people on it. Designers, developers, marketers, and in the end, this is the state of the art tool when it comes to design these days. And obviously, for some of the teams, it even makes sense to have both. Canva for the marketing department, and then for the product team, you would have Figma. So in the end, whatever works for you is right. In our case, we would always recommend going with Figma just because you have the full scalability and full flexibility of everything that's going on. I'm curious, what do you think? Which is your tool of choice? Drop it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and follow for more videos on design and marketing. Bye-bye.